Oh, I got to put God first. I got to get Jesus first in my life. That's not what it says. He is first. God made him first. He's head of the church. That means he's first. Christ is your life. That means he's first. He's not competing with that golf ball. He's not competing with your favorite hobby. He's not competing with your favorite TV program. He is your life in everything. And it is pitiful and pathetic that we do the little shell game pretending that he's one of six things and I got to get him first. What most people mean by that is, man, I really need to set aside some time. I need to be spending time with God and my priorities aren't straight. I need to spend time with God. Where does it say that? In Romans, does it say spend time with God? In Galatians, does it say spend time with God? Colossians, does it say spend time with God? It does not. I appreciate the desire. I appreciate the thought, but there's a greater truth, and that is you are united with Jesus 24-7 without interruption. You are always spending time with God because Christ is your life. Now, if you want to call it what it is, read some scripture. Go for it. We're reading scripture this morning. I love the scripture. We don't have a message without it. Read the scripture, but call it what it is because you are always spending time with God. It's not a special seven minutes in nature. It's not a special 30 minutes at five o'clock in the morning. You are always spending time with God because you are always united with Christ. He is your life. 